Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today I am a pirate because I cannot wear mascara, and maybe that sentence only makes sense to me. Also, look, I found this shirt, oh, in the back of our closet. It's probably filled with spiders, but I have a look going on today, a whole pirate t-shirt look. And I also look very sweaty, you guys. Do you ever sometimes like accidentally take too hot of a shower and then you're just sweating? You're immediately out of the shower sweating and you're like, but why did I do this at all? But you guys, today we are once again becoming investigators because I am deep diving into this entire wig situation. And if you did not watch my last video, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You also might not care, but I care and it's my YouTube channel. Anyway, let me catch you guys up to speed. Maybe I can make you care. My last video on this channel was testing out glow in the dark hair dye. You guys know that I have been loving to dye wigs over almost the past two years now. I found one listing on Amazon. Like the very first time I ordered it, I was super impressed with the quality of the wig. Oh, it's actually right there. My very firstborn wig. I, I will fetch it. I will. And then and then we guys, then we guys, we guys can all take a look together. Oh my God. This wig looks like a monstrosity because it is. The very first time I bought a wig on Amazon, I had no idea what kind of quality wig I was going to be getting. I swear these things always happen to me when I'm shopping on Amazon. It doesn't matter what it is, wig, shoes, mascara, hair dye, I will try and read the reviews and there will be a five star review followed by a one star review. So I'm like, thanks guys, very helpful. Like no consensus do I ever arrive at from reading Amazon reviews. So I sort of just buy it and try it and wish for the best. So this was the very first wig that I bought and the quality was amazing. So every time subsequent, that I've wanted to do one of these hair dyeing videos, I have always bought the exact same listing and the quality has always been there. Super thick density hair seems to respond to any kind of horrors that I put it through. This was my latest dyeing project before the glow in the dark wig where I tested out 20 different blue hair dyes and same exact listing. So I bought this one in 2019 and I bought this one in 2021, I think. And so the quality was the same for all of these years until I bought another wig. And I think that I purchased like this one and this one roughly one week apart because I had so much fun with this video. I knew I was gonna try like another type of hair dye. So I just went ahead and like bought the wig way in advance of filming the last video. <sighs> Storytelling. We have our two beautiful mannequins here, purple and blue. This and this are supposed to be the exact same wig, the exact same listing, the exact same length, the exact same density everything. And this is what I got one time. Look at this beautiful lace. I'll just go ahead and insert the clip that I filmed prior so you guys can see a good like raw side-by-side -side comparison because I haven't dyed this one yet and I filmed this one in its raw natural naked state. This one arrived to me literally with no lace and I keep describing it as like a party city Halloween costume bagged wig situation. It's finished like so badly, like literally just the tracks of hair folded over and sewn down. It is not good quality. And while I was filming that video, I went ahead and like looked at the listings. I read them like word for word because I wanted to see like, was I just kind of, because I just go into my orders and if there's something I want to order again, I just search for it and just place the order and I don't like read the listing all over again, but I wanted to go back. I wanted to make sure I read the fine print and it is supposed to be the exact same wig as this. As I was researching my other listings that I had purchased, I also saw oddly enough that the price of these wigs has increased where the density has decreased. So that's the only thing that we should be noticing a slight difference in 
is this listing used to offer 180 density wig and now it's only 150 density wig. But oddly enough, the prices increased instead of like decreased, which didn't make any sense to me because I figure like if you're getting like less hair, it should be cheaper, not more expensive. But I don't know that much about like the wig price market, you know, the wig stock market. That's just not something I'm betting on. So I don't know how frequently there are major price fluctuations. I think the first time I got this length hair, which is 14 inches, I think, it was 180 density for $92. And then the next time I bought this exact same length and what I thought was the exact same listing, it was 150 density for like $118. So kind of weird all the way around, but I didn't wanna like just say, oh, I think this is like a dishonest seller. This is a scam or whatever. Cause I started to think, well, maybe it was just like a boo-boo. Maybe like an odd weird wig every now and again will just slip through the cracks, you know? And it's not that big of a deal. And honestly, I would have already done this. Like I would have gotten this wig in the mail and absolutely returned it and exchanged it and tried to order another one, but I had a sponsorship and it was due. So we went ahead and just died this catastrophe. Basically to make a long story short, what I wanted to do before I was like, this listing on Amazon is a scam is I wanted to just buy another one. I want to buy another one. We're going to unbag it and we're going to see if it was a weird one or if this company kind of sucks. And I deliberately edited the name of the listing and the wig company and everything else. I tried to edit it out of the last video just in case it was an odd one off. But I am nervous because it came in the same exact packaging. So this, this last catastrophe wig came in this packaging and I'm already not delighted to see this all over again. And you would think that this would be higher quality because the packaging literally used to be a Ziploc bag. You would think that this would be a step up. Also, a lot of you guys were saying that this is a different type of wig. And I forgot exactly what the comment said. So I'm just inserting your comment here, which that is interesting. I've never heard of that type of wig before. Actually, I've heard of it, but I don't, I don't really know what it means because I'm just looking for a wig that I can dye and then slap on my head like a hat. But that's, that's not what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a lace front wig. That's what it says right here. This is what we're supposed to be getting. And I think it says full lace, at least on the listing. Amazon.com. I was gonna order some Faygo. I saw Faygo on TikTok the other day. I think that that's like the Juggalo drink of choice. So I wanted to try it. I don't know. Have you guys ever had Faygo Moon Mist? Moon Mist just sounds like something that I would like to drink. What does it say? Here is the listing. It says um, blonde lace front wig, 13 by four deep part human hair, glueless, 150 density, blonde lace front wig, pre-plucked. But when you scroll down and you actually see the pictures of the wig cap, then you guys can see you are supposed to get six inches of solid lace in the front. And they tell you it's supposed to be like 13 inches in in circumference. They show you a bunch of photos. Needless to say, that's what I think that I'm buying. So let's see what I'm getting. I feel like it has been so weird. Like only in like the last two or three months has this been going on on Amazon. It's so weird. It's like I will order one thing and I will get something else. And it will even be a listing that I bought a billion times before and I will get something else in the middle. What's going on Jeff Bezos? Okay. Yeah, so it's looking the same. So this is the bag that it used to come in, like this, like so, just giant Ziploc bag, yeah? And I feel like the wig cap also used to be packaged and you used to get two, now you just get one, who cares about that? Here's their little pamphlet. And am I about to look like an idiot? Okay, this is the same, the same thing that we saw last time. <laughs> And uh, here we go, we're opening it. And what did we get? Okay, it is better, I think. It's better, but no, it's fine. Okay, yeah. I think they're just cutting the lace shorter now. So maybe actually, no, that's still not what happened with this last one. That was just a real horror show, but not in a good way. 
So this still feels like really rough, like all the knots are tied right there. So yeah, honestly, this one is 100% fine, especially like by my very low wig standards because you know, I'm just gonna dye these and run around the house and pretend to be like a Teletubby or something. So it's not like I need like, you know, the most high quality wig that will ever plop down on someone's head. But I will say this one is still like really funky. And let's just, let's just have a little look for comparison. I do keep going back to this one because this one, for whatever reason, is probably like my favorite wig that I've ever done. It's the highest quality. You guys can see we have much thicker lace section on this one than the other one. And also there is a difference in the wig cap still. It's so weird. It's like they just had a bunch of like weird factory mishaps or the quality is like cheaper or something. I really don't 100% know what's happening, but just to flip it inside out, like the wig cap is very soft. You can't really feel like where each of the individual hairs are like, I think they're tied in. I think last time I was saying punched in because I'm always thinking about like reborn babies with fur and hair and stuff and the hair is like punched in there but I think that this is like a tied on process but you cannot see or feel really all of those little individual knots but this is like super rough it literally feels like if you're cold and you have chill bumps and like or are they called goose bumps gooseberries. That's what this wig feels like. Goose bumps on your head, which once again, if you're going to wear this for a prolonged period of time, I feel like this would be like very rough and irritating on the skin. It's just sandpaper, sandpaper right to the scalp. And also the lace is just cut like super, super short, which I don't understand. Like, why would they do that? Because I cannot imagine that this material itself is like that expensive you know what i'm gonna measure i'm gonna measure is it six inches we're gonna we are gonna measure the measurement of six inches per their diagram is supposed to start right here so here is six inches and we are about an inch off according to this very adorable ruler which tells you such things as a us one dollar bill is six inches across. Did you guys know that? Also quite apparently there was a cat that was two inches big. It's the world's smallest cat named Tinker Toy. I'll see if I can find a photo of Tinker Toy. This I think is livable to me. At this rate, I would probably continue to purchase this same listing. You know what? I feel like that's gonna be the true test is once I dye this wig and then attempt to put it on. I almost forgot to try this wig on. Let me actually just plop it on and see how itchy it is. Right now I just have my hair like lazily pulled back. I'm just gonna like directly plop it on my head. Okay, it's actually not like <laughs> super itchy as I had imagined. Let's see, oh, that's kind of like doing the really cool like side part, which I think that whole debate going on right now is so funny about like middle part versus side part because literally my hair decides what direction it's gonna part itself. I've never given any thought in my life unless I'm doing like space buns and I literally want the hair to be styled evenly. Like I have no idea how my hair is parted. That is something I've never given a moment moment of consideration. Let me know if you're like that too. Like, are you just not on a team here? I'm actually really shocked and surprised that I don't feel that at all. Like even just this wig up against my naked head. Obviously, if I had a wig cap on, I would feel completely nothing, I'm sure. But it's like actually remarkably soft. I feel like it looks really good. I think that this is the exact same one. This is the one I dyed with candy. I'm still trying to remove the um, Kool-Aid. 
out of the front of this wig. You guys, this has been like a literal four month long process of me testing everything. That was actually like a video that I had started filming and I'm still not done with it yet. I'm trying all these different like hacks that I've seen on the internet of ways that you're supposed to be able to remove Kool-Aid from your hair. I feel like it's just because these wigs are so bleached that just any kind of substance I put on here with any pigment whatsoever was just gonna like really sink into the hair follicles. I still feel like it's a little bit thinner than wigs in the past that I've gotten from this same listing even that are supposed to be 150 density. So I don't know what's going on with that you guys. Honestly I don't feel like this is a scam listing or a scam seller or anything. I just feel like maybe the quality control is not 100% there. There may maybe putting them out with about six inches of lace front and about 150 density versus like actually really like, I don't know how you would check all of that. I mean, obviously you could measure, but I don't know how you would check the exact density. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. For itchy and super uncomfortable, then I probably won't continue buying this. Actually, I probably, I probably will buy it just one more time, at least after this, and see if it's horrendous or not. But you guys, I found marshmallow hair dye, and I've had pudding hair dye forever, and I want to try both of those. So uh, I don't see myself stopping dyeing hair anytime soon. And I also, I want to make like a wig that is like a replica of my own hair. Like, can you imagine if I could? And just have my own hair but as a wig I don't it'll make sense at a later date. I feel like this one like the wig cap is much higher quality as well or at least like the hair where it's placed like you don't see as much like wig cap and like tracks and stuff as you did with this last glow-in-the-dark wig. What do you guys think about this? What do you feel about this? Do you care? Have you also had like really bizarre Amazon experiences lately in the last couple of months? Like I've even, oh my god, it's so weird. I got these trolley gummies as well, which I bought a bunch of times. They're so delicious. They're these eyeballs. You bite into these eyeballs and they're it's like a gummy candy. And I swear, I once again bought the same listing like four times. And on the fourth listing, I swear I received fake candy. Like the packaging is so weird. And the candy, like normally you get a variety of different eyeball colors. Like you'll get green, blue, whatever. And then this time all the eyeballs were red. I feel like I can say the name of the company this time. So it is Smartanov Hair. And on their little pamphlet, they say that they've had a physical store for 10 years, but I tried to look up the physical store and I can't find it. So I don't know, I don't know what that is. What's going on there? I, that's supposed to be the physical store. I will probably keep purchasing this listing. And if we ever get anything that looks like this ever again, then you guys, I'm running for the hills, never to return. Cause this is honestly comedic. It's so bad. You know, if I had paid like $30 for this at Party City or Spirit Halloween, I would be over the moon with the with the quality of this. But since I paid like $156 and I was definitely expecting like much better quality than this, it's just, it, I don't know. This is a no, this is acceptable. And that is where we land. Anyway, you guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you watched this video, if you care, if you too feel like you have been borderline scammed in the past couple of months on Amazon. I am anxious to read all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And I will be back again very soon with some other kind of random video. I have some very, very exciting videos coming up in March and I'm ready for you guys to see them. Anyway, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And like I said, I will be back again very, very soon, perhaps in a pirate hat once again. You never know with me. I also am about to wash my hair because it is like, it feels like a scarecrow, like a scarecrow's body is my hair right now. Touch it if you will. Ooh.